So I had to kind of persuade this to come apart. I'm gonna guess that there's some plastic stuck in this. So we're gonna check that out. If there is, we'll pull the plastic out, make sure it turns, and we'll hope we're good. We don't know what it looks like, how it works, or what to expect, but we're gonna find out right now. So here's what's happening now. We're going to go ahead and pull off the flywheel. Uh, we well, we got to start pulling the gears off anyway. Yeah. We're waiting for parts still, but we're going to get in here and we're going to pop the oil. Uh, he, he got gaskets for these areas, I'm assuming. No. So he's going to order gaskets when, when I he, order these. Um, when he orders the gears, yeah. I think there's gaskets. I mean, if there's not, nothing, I don't have to worry about it. But yeah. We get these off so we make sure everything's yeah. clean. So we put yeah, we're, we're just looking everywhere we can for plastic because we were surprised at the. We were surprised. I don't know that we were surprised there was that much plastic in there because it had to go somewhere. Here's what I was most surprised is, you know, like we talked about, is that. So that's what I was most surprised at. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and pull this flywheel off. Uh, and yeah, so that's, we're going to do that right now. Let's do it. Watch your toes on that thing. <laughs> uh, we're gonna slide this thing out. Now we get to finally see the rest of the damage. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello, Gina. So there's that. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna order this gear. Until starter I figure gear. which one was and I realized I don't need it. Yeah, that's the starter gear. You should be good to go on that one. So here, this is what saved your butt. Is that you still had one water pump gear working. It shoot up, but it was still working because some of the plastic got into it. Had, watch out for that. <laughs> had you lost that, I think you'd had a big, you know, well, I guess you had, I'm assuming they're both oil pumps, I mean. Yeah. Had you lost both of those, man, I don't know. This one started, you know, it, did, it didn't have much longer to go. So the motor noise that everybody was hearing that made them think the motor was toast were, was actually this. Look at the yeah. coloration in it. And here's the, oh yeah, yeah. So here's the other thing. Here's the answer. Here is finally the answer to everybody's question, right? I'm going to answer what I think. General Custer. And, and everybody else can, they, you can think what you want. You can have your opinion, whatever. I'm, I'm not even going to disagree with you. You know, you can ask Danny. I'm just going to say yes. Right? Yes. So here's the thing. People are like, how come they don't make metal gear, blah, 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 all that stuff? We felt the same way, right, when we first started digging in. Imagine that. These are metal, right? Something happens to them. They strip out. What happens next? They strip this gear out. That gear is on the crank, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It looks like it might be pressed on, but uh, you probably got to pull the crank to press it off and back on, I'm assuming. Maybe not. I might be totally wrong. I could be 100% wrong. I don't know. I'm just saying that's my theory. Is that that could be a big problem, right? Yes. Where with this particular problem, I think it was caused by something. Don't forget we got a uh, pin in there. We probably oh, should pull. I'm pulling that off. Yeah. We just got to make sure it doesn't fall out and we don't lose it. So I'm going to keep touching it so it does. Anyway, <laughs> basically we're going to pull. We'll show you in a minute. We're going to pull these gears. We're going to look at the oil. Uh, oil. We're going to look at the oil pumps. So that's what's going down. All right, so we're finally getting to the to meat to the meat of this whole thing. So that's the answer to that those are offset. So uh, they can only go one way in that hole. So can't get that wrong. That gear toast. That's the water pump gear. That's the very the one that touches the water pump. That's the very last gear that touches the water pump. It was trashed completely. So the water pump wasn't spinning at all. 
Luckily, the oil pumps were still spinning. They were just making a hell of a noise at some point. I wasn't there for the worst of it, but you can see that that gear is still good. So it was still driving that water pump. This gear is still relatively good. It was driving this water pump, even, the wa even though the water pump gear was probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes of more, 10 more minutes of run time and it would have been absolutely done and then you would have had some uh, oil, oil pressure issues, I would assume. Okay, so Danny has some theory about a can of worms. <laughs> but here is reality. So we got all the gears off. This is what it looks like with the gears off. Um, this guy right here, I can turn it by hand. Oil pump. This one, we can't turn it by hand. We put the pin in it. We can't turn it with the pin. We don't know if we're supposed to be able to or not. We don't know. Because if you don't know, you don't know, we don't know. We've never had one of these apart. We don't know what it looks like, how it works, or what to expect. But we're going to find out right now. What will we find? It's like Al Capone's vault with Geraldo Rivera. All right. Remember that? Of course you don't. Geraldo Rivera? I don't even know who that is. We... All right. So we're, all right, so we're going to pull this oil pump out and take a look and see what we Don't have. know what's behind here, so... We don't know what's behind door number one or seven. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, a, that's, that's yeah. Normal. All normalcies. All looks good. Do we have a gasket? No gasket. No oh, gasket. Okay, just a really precision machine surface. Yep. All right. This one's a little concerning because it's it's extremely tight. We weren't able to break it loose. We can't spin it. So there's something going down in Chinatown right there. So we're gonna see if we can uh, co get it to cooperate. And and uh, oh, there we go. Bang! It was just a little tighter. Not nothing to see here. Let's find out. This actually might be our culprit. We might have been totally wrong. I mean, I wasn't wrong. There's plastic in there. I can see it now. Right? That's the bigger water cooler. Uh -uh. Yeah, we got plastic in here. Right there. So this, this oil pump actually locked up from the plastic that stripped off the gears. Right? Oh yeah, it's full. Look at that. So Danny's going to go ahead and pull that thing out right now. We're going to see how much plastic, just exactly how much plastic is in there. Here's a chunk right here. Look at that. That chunk just came out of there. So, bad deal. So, I think what we should do is get all the plastic out of it, clean it really good, kind of slide it back together and see if it spins. If it does, we should be good. Uh, watch out for that piece. That piece is probably not supposed to come out just yet. I don't think so. But that's all right. I think it's uh, just, that's the pin that spins the Jingadaris. Is it frozen there? Mm -mm. It's not frozen? Does it spin? All right. It gets deeper and deeper, literally. So there's another, uh, what do you call that? An impeller? Whatever you call it. Anyway, another part of the oil pump deeper in there with another pin that had popped out. Does that one turn? Yes. Okay, so that one turns. Uh, this one is hung up. I'm going, I'm going to guess there is some, uh, I'm gonna guess that there's some plastic stuck in this. So we're gonna check that out. If there is, we'll pull the plastic out, make sure it turns, and we'll hope we're good. But uh, this one over here was good. So we probably don't even necessarily need to touch it unless we think there's plastic in there. Well, I pulled it out a little bit. I'm hoping the pin didn't come out. We're going to have to pull it apart. We'll be back. <laughs> okay. So now we're trying to figure out what came first. The chicken or the egg? Chicken or the caboose. Well, I ate chips. And here's what we left. found. Here's what we found. So I had to kind of persuade this to come apart. Look in there. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Can you put a light on that? We're gonna get a light on this. We're gonna get a light on this. Ready? Where's your big green light? Okay, so take a look at this. I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can. Man, I feel like I'm not getting it. I feel like I'm not getting that. Oh, there you go. Stay right there. All right. Okay, do you see that in there? Oh yeah, that's definitely plastic wedged in there. Okay, if you look all the way around, the rest of them are good. So the plastic gear 
a part of the plastic gear wedged itself inside of here and froze up the oil pump as well. So again, pull the motor. We'll be back. Okay. Part of the plastic gears, right? Is that what that is? Yeah, looks like it. Wedged inside the oil pump, froze up the oil pump. So, yeah. Got to pull that motor. You got to look through the motor. You got to dig through the motor for all of the plastic you can get out of it. I concur. Let's see Maybe. if that spins now. Hold it up so we can see it on camera. Oh, yeah. Boom. Water pump. I mean, oil pump fixed. <laughs> this was in the oil pump. You got a bad thing about water pumps today, you know that? We'll be back. Alright, so we have this motor buttoned back up. We found a bunch of stuff as we already covered. I hope we covered it. We put all these new oil sieves in, sieves, however you, however you pronounce that. Um, one was plugged up, caved in. We showed you that. Uh, we had a, we had a oil pump that was frozen because it had plastic in it from the plastic gears that broke. Uh, we cleaned out the oil pump, I mean the oil pan really well. And Danny did, not so much we. And now, and then real quick, again, again for the 47,000th time, that's all the, that's the plastic that we managed to capture. Some of it went, you know, away, but that's a lot of plastic, a lot of gears. And what we're going to do now is we're going to spin this car back around. We're going to drop the motor back right in here where it belongs. So, we're going to put you on the tripod. Alright, we decided since we were right here that I would trip over that and dump all the parts. <laughs> Wasn't so, I just saying earlier, hopefully nobody dumps them? Well, uh, yeah, you know, as long as it's one of us, we know about it. Anyway, what we decided is since we are right here and we have a... Uh, crap. Hmm? I had them in order. Oh, well, I guess we'll figure that They're out. They're not going back in anyway. <laughs> anyway, so what happened is uh, since we decided since we have this thing hanging right here and it's easy access to the turbinator, we would go ahead and take a look inside. Uh-oh. Danny won't notice when I pull this off and put it on our car because our, our compressor wheel's damaged. His is not. His looks good. I don't see. It looks clean, huh? Does it spin okay? Okay, so I'm going to steal this from Danny if it's good. Anyway, so what we're looking for is, does it spin okay? Does it flip-flop around? No. Eh. I'm not sure about that. It feels like I might have a tiny bit of... I don't know if there's any uh, clearance, give, supposed to be any give whatsoever on that. Uh, I don't know if it's ball bearing, bushing. I don't know the story. Bushing. But we do know this. It doesn't have any oil. It doesn't. It doesn't have moves a lot. Does it? It doesn't have any oil. Unless it's, it's going uh, in and out. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Hold that motor still. Okay, in and out. I don't seem to be able. Oh, wow. See what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to ask somebody about that that knows more. We don't have the answer. If you have the answer, comment below. We probably have. Uh, by the time you comment, we probably already spoke to someone and figured out and resolved the issue if there is one. But still, we want to know what you think. So uh, we're going to get this thing dropped back in because even if there's a problem with the turbo, uh, we can get to the turbo from the front of the car through the through the cockpit. So you know how that works. So we spoke with uh, somebody and who knows what's up. We uh, we kind of checked the the impeller and the shaft. We, it, it moves around a tiny bit, but it doesn't. The impeller doesn't contact the walls of the compressor housing, so we feel like it's good. We're gonna put it back together. Uh, we're gonna put you over on time lapse, and we're gonna put this thing back together. Mm -hmm.